the rules of the programming model are just as simple. They obey something called composability. So let me tell you a bit about that. If you recall how CUDA works, kernels launched into a given stream are interdependent. That means that in this case, for example, B cannot run before A is finished, and C cannot run before B has finished. It's how CUDA streams work, which I think you've probably learned about in a previous lecture. So if B creates its own work, X, Y, and Z, we call this child work to B, where B is the parent of X, Y, and Z. Now composability says that whatever B does is entirely private to B. That means C has no idea, and, and quite honestly doesn't care, what B is doing. B is not considered to have finished until all of its other children, X, Y, and Z in this case, have also finished. So A, B, and C still execute in sequence as expected, and B follows the rules of composability such that whatever B does, it has no effect on C's ability to execute. So in effect, B actually looks like a single kernel, even though internally it's doing all of these other steps. So it doesn't just stop here. Note you can have child kernels launch their own children, P, Q, and R in this case, for example. So you've got grandchildren of B. You can go on to generations of great, great, great grandchildren, if you like, until you run out of memory. The point being that it all composes and stacks back into looking like it's a single part of B. And that's composability.